Hello, and thanks for joining us at Ride on Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the Tamiya Kit 35219, the Willis MB Jeep. It's a 135 scale kit, and it's a skill level 2. The pieces are molded in olive drab clear with water slide decals. There's about 97 parts to this kit, and they're very well laid out instructions. It's a reissue of the 90s Willis MB that uh, Tamiya has been releasing over the years, and by now they have four different variations to complete uh, a number of uh, collections for you with this iconic Jeep. Of course, the Jeep was made in World War uh, II to serve as a military service truck, and when you're finished with this one, the dimensions are approximately three and three quarter inches long, about two and an eighth inches wide, and and two inches high with the machine gun. For the most part we'll be using Model Master's uh, tube glue or the liquid cement uh, from testers. Uh, occasionally super glue for a strength on a part and a white glue for the clear parts. Now remember to follow the manufacturer safety and use guidelines for any of the products that you see mentioned here for your own safety. One thing about the Tamiya kit you need to know is that they uh, they don't really uh, describe the parts. They just uh, show the part numbers and how they go together. Now, um, we'll be using part numbers where we have to. And as you can see here, we're going to assemble the frame and the basic motor. Uh, now, the frame is, uh, you know, Model Master's uh, flat black and semi-gloss black. Um, and and the, uh, they're painted, uh, the engine parts, of course, are painted uh, kind of a, t a tester's flat green and uh, olive drab for part number uh, A A7 here and tester's flat green. It's kind of a mix uh, so that uh, you have a little bit of variety up front there. So you can go ahead and uh, mount the motor uh, into the frame on its uh, mounting locations there uh, and uh, uh, some liquid cement should be just fine for this application. So get the um, axles out of the kit, front and rear, and the uh, cross member here, and paint those um, Model Masters flat olive. So assemble the front and rear axles into place, and then uh, attach those at the center, uh, and then also the uh, go ahead and install the, the cross member there to uh, trap everything into position. So get the leaf springs and shocks uh, combos out of the kit along with the uh, exhaust and the uh, plate there and paint everything uh, olive drab uh, except for the uh, pipe and the muffler which uh, we're going to give a coating of uh, kind of a rust color to uh, get that started before we weather it. So now you can go ahead and install the um, shocks and uh, spring towers there and uh, we can uh, also add that centerpiece with the exhaust and connect that up to the engine uh, manifold. Gather these body parts uh, out of the kit box and uh, we'll start uh, by of course painting those olive drab green and setting those aside to drive for uh, assembly. So now you can assemble the main body hub there and as you can see uh, the headlights are installed uh, using some white glue in front and uh, some of the detailing uh, goes into the parts in the back. Um, of course you see all the tail lights with the stoplight red. Uh, everything else is pretty much uh, olive drab uh, except for the fire extinguisher which you can uh, do how you see fit. Back in the day they were kind of copper colored uh, and it also has some decals on it which you can apply here and the shift knobs of course uh, have black uh, knobs. Now I'll grab these parts and uh, paint the frames on the seats here uh, with the olive drab and then use a faded green drab for the uh, uh, center seating areas and uh, go ahead and assemble those pieces front and backs and set those aside to dry. So grab the cowl and the dashboard here and uh, piece A14 which is uh, detailed with some semi-gloss black and then use some flat black to detail the uh, gauge areas and go ahead and install the cowl and the gauges into position. So um, we're going to uh, mate the body now to the chassis and if you're going to mount the machine gun in this kit uh, you need to open up the hole there uh, in the body before assembly is attached to the chassis so that uh, you have a location for that later. It's also at this point you'll find it expedient to do some of the uh, underbody weathering. As you can see the fender here has been uh, weathered a little bit. I use the Tamiya Weathering uh, Master Set A, that's sand colors, to uh, apply to the fender wells before I crowd that with the wheels. So you can 
paint the um, the backing plates for the wheels, um, you know, and a flat black, and and of course the uh, the front wheels, the steel wheels are uh, olive drab, and the tires are uh, rubber, uh, black rubber. Now I'll go ahead and assemble those, all five of them, uh, for uh, later uh, application. Get these uh, perimeter parts together, uh, including the uh, the gas can, the rails, and the stirrups, handholds, etc. And then there's the uh, part uh, A17 there, and it's painted uh, a combination of flat green, uh, aluminum, and some semi-gloss black before it's attached to uh, A22. Then paint the rest of these units uh, olive drab, uh, and we'll assemble those to the body. You might notice uh, for the stirrups and handle loops there, I left a piece of the sprue attached to those so that I could handle them while I was using some super glue to uh, put those into place. It just uh, helps facilitate placement. And once the glue's dry, you just snip those off. Now you can uh, go ahead and glue the rest of those pieces, including the uh, fuel can and the uh, tire and wheel assemblies, into place at this time. So these parts will come up, are up next, and uh, the uh, the military rifle there has green you know cloth uh, protective cover on it, and so that's olive drab. But of course the rest will be uh, a wooden stock and some uh, metal uh, for you know gun metal for the uh, the, the gun metal. <laughs> and uh, we're going to add uh, C2 the clear parts uh, windshield uh, acetate strips to the uh, windshield after we assemble or uh, paint that uh, olive drab. And then uh, we're going to use some white glue to put those into place. And also glue the uh, rifle there and uh, finish off uh, the rest of the uh, fittings there for the body. And uh, speaking of bodies, now we have to paint the figure. And um, uh, he is uh, painted with uh, acrylic skin tone uh, for the uh, you know skin areas, uh, a sand beige for the boot uh, type areas, and some flat brown on the base uh, of the soles there. Uh, some faded olive drab for the uh, trousers, and uh, same thing, some olive drab for the uh, uh, jacket, and some Italian olive green uh, for the outer jacket. We've got uh, a variety of accessory parts here to paint, uh, including a shovel and an axe, uh, and so of course those have got a military brown for the handles, and then um, the uh, metal parts are painted uh, with a steel color, a metalizer, and uh, there's uh, uh, also some uh, uh, a steering wheel pieces there and steering uh, parts. So those will be painted drab, just like uh, the base model. So we'll get uh, ready and go ahead and add those to the uh, exterior. And uh, uh, B3 was left off, though will be added later uh, on in the build. And we'll be adding these pieces uh, next, most of which are uh, green olive drab. And uh, but we also have another weapon there with a sheath cover cover that uh, you know will be uh, uh, painted. Uh, the, of course, the gun metal uh, will be gun metal, and uh, the stock will be uh, a military brown. You can add some streaking to that. And then there's the machine gun too, and that uh, that will be painted uh, a model master gun metal as well. So we can uh, end the. Uh, uh, the olive drab stand for the machine gun, uh, you'll assemble that and put that into place in the hole that you drilled out earlier. Now you can add some of the uh, decals to the model. Uh, of course the uh, five point star and the identification markings that come with the kit. Um, you get to choose there from uh, d I believe different uh, liveries. So um, the decals are uh, pretty nice. They float off easily and there's very little carrier. So uh, you can place those at this time. And then uh, we can do some of that weathering. Uh, once again, we use the uh, Model Master Sand, uh, which is A in the uh, uh, pack of uh, different uh, weathering uh, powders that they uh, have put out. And I think it does a nice job if you just uh, add uh, weathering liberally, uh, but not too badly, because uh, this guy looks like it's been through the mud, and uh, and I think that's uh, the way that a Jeep should look. So. Buy one and put it on your shelf. Well, we hope you like this premium step-by-step -step scale model kit review. And so that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and at our website too, www.rightonreplicas.com. Thanks.